Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to perfect the G slide. Now, in previous videos that I've seen that were posted, they explained it pretty well. I'm not going to lie, but I want to go more in detail and more in depth in this video. So, the first thing you want to come into how to perfect the G slide, you want to jump and then slide. That's kind of the first animation you want to get used to. A lot of you guys know how to do this already, it's very simple. And then, basically, the next step is you're going to jump, and as soon as you're going to slide, this is how it works the G slide. As you, as you jump, and as soon as you're going to slide, you're going to hold circle. And that's gonna boost you off. It's obviously circles to jump. If it's, it's hard if you don't have a scuff or if you you don't play claw, it's gonna be a lot harder, guys. But if, if you really have a scuff, if you have a scuff or play claw, it's gonna be a lot easier. So I'm gonna jump, slide, but as I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna hold circle, and it's gonna you gotta get the timing right though, and it's gonna boost you. See, I hit it pretty much almost every time. I got the timing down pretty well. As you guys can see, I'm just hitting it constantly. Like when I'm playing in SD matches, I'm rushing something, I'm like this, I'm like holy shit, I'm like this. And I get there, I get there a little faster. It's obviously not crazy faster, but it can help you get there a couple seconds, which can make a huge difference. So one more time, guys, you're gonna jump, crouch, and hold circle. It's very simple. You obviously want to do it right as you're gonna hit the ground. If you do it too early, this is what's gonna look like. This is what's gonna look like if you do it too early. You're gonna, you're gonna boost a little bit right before you slide, which is not that big of a deal. I'd rather you do it too early than too late, because if you're doing it a little bit early, it means you kind of you understand it a lot more. If you're doing it too late, and means you're kind of not getting used to it yet. And what too late looks like is, you, is you're gonna cut off midway. God, I'm so used to it that I, I don't even know how to do it bad anymore. All right, let's say I got this. No, basically what's gonna look like is this. It's gonna look like that. It's gonna cut halfway. It's gonna it's gonna cut the the G slide in the middle. And this, that means you're doing it too late. So you got to get that timing right. If you're doing it too early, you're going to boost a little bit. If you're doing it too late, you're cutting off. So that means you got to do it a little bit faster. So, for example, if, if I'm cutting off like this, that means I'm obviously doing it as I land already. So I got to do it before it. So I'm going to land now. No, you see, that was too late. I landed. I can't let myself land until I hold circle. See? I'm going to land, hold circle. It's so easy once you get used to it. You're going to hold circle every time. And it, that's what like a lot of people don't understand is that you gotta hold circle. I feel like people are just telling like pro players are just telling, hey, just press the jump button right before you see right there. I did it too early. I almost hit the ground, but I didn't time it correctly and I boosted. But I hit it like five, six times in a row for the most part. You know, I'm very good at it. I do it like 90, 95% of the time. I have my I miss it obviously here and there because the timing could fuck you up. So remember guys, I'm just gonna repeat this one more time. You wanna jump and hold circle. Jump, and as soon as you're gonna land, you hold circle. You obviously gotta be moving forward and holding the crouch button as you're as as if you're gonna slide because you are kind of sliding. But at as soon as you land, you hold you're gonna hold circle as like as soon as you know you're gonna land. You see right there, I did it too early, but doing it too early, like I said, it's a little better than doing it too late because it means you're understanding more. It means you're holding circle and you're ready to fall. As soon as you fall, you should G slide, and it's very simple once you get the timing. I did a little bit too early there again. I got the timing down pretty well. It obviously takes practice maybe 30 minutes to an hour to kind of get the hang of it and then after that it's just constantly doing it either way guys i hope you enjoyed this video how to perfect your g slide i went a little bit more in depth compared to the other videos and i pretty much showed you guys you know the little tricks and kind of gave you some more information if you're doing it too late doing it too early so you can further understand how to do it i hope this video is very helpful make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe i will be doing more tip videos i feel like that's what i'm going to be leaning towards to a little bit more you know helping you guys out a little bit more so i hope you guys really enjoyed this make sure to subscribe for some more videos videos it's been your boy apathy and i'm out peace out wait i gotta hit it one more time for you guys bam i'm so fucking good at this practice baby practice